Planet Dolan. From greasy posters to lazy finger puppets, we count 10 of the worst toys to fall out of Happy Meal boxes. Number 10. Michael Jordan Fitness Fun Range. McDonald's has a long history of responding to health critics with lazily conceived health promotions. This Michael Jordan's Fitness Fun Happy Meals promotion was one of many examples. In 1991, the restaurant offered cheap plastic skipping ropes, plush balls, water bottles, and stopwatches with the basketball superstar's likeness in an attempt to shed the company's unhealthy image. Jordan once played pro baseball, but the impractically small plush footballs had exactly nothing to do with him. Nothing on the actual menu changed, but I'm sure some kids used their lame stopwatch watches to stage some epic cheeseburger eating contests. First one to get diabetes gets a 42 ounce Coke. Come on, Timmy, slam those cheeseburgers just like Air Jordan. Number nine, airport toy. Apparently, the idea here was that kids could open up their Happy Meal boxes and turn them into an airport. The set included four colored planes piloted by McDonald's motley crew of unlicensed pilots and the presumably rare green Hamburglar copter. Unfortunately, the idea was better suited to cereal boxes and the toy quality was extremely poor, with many calling it the cheapest McDonald's toy of all time. I blame the Hamburglar. He's obviously driving McDonald's profit margin down the toilet. That's why you get cheap crap like this. I don't see why Mayor McCheese doesn't just execute the fucker. Number 8. Ronald McDonald Glove Puppet Another low point for Happy Meal collectibles, these shoddily drawn hand puppets barely resembled Ronald McDonald and were obviously an afterthought. I mean, it's a cheap fucking plastic hand puppet. What kid would want that? Might as well give him an empty box and market it as imagination. Most McDonald's locations simply used this toy as a backup when they ran out of whatever hot new Pixar toy was offered that week. McDonald's toys vary in quality, but this was definitely on the low end of the scale. It's one of those toys where you can just feel the sadness of the sweatshop workers bleeding through the plastic. Please, Mr. McDonald, no more glove puppet. <laughs> ah! Stop, I'll make, I'll make. The pressing thing is the work conditions are probably even more awful than I can imagine. But they probably do have healthier food than we do, so that's something. Number seven, gardening toys. Forget bright colors and flashy games. According to Out of Touch CEOs, there's nothing kids love more than patiently raising inanimate plants. Have you seen kids these days? They love gardens. They go absolutely bananas for them. Look at that grass grow, Timmy. You're doing a great job with those gardenias, Sally. Even for the minority of kids with green thumbs, you know, the pot dealers of tomorrow, the McDonald's range of gardening toys were woefully lame. The bird feeder was too small for any creature to eat from, the watering can held about a thimble of water, and the gardening tools would snap if you even breathed on them. You'd probably be better off digging at the dirt with your bare hands. Number six, shark tail jellyfish. Part dildo, part magic mushroom, all misguided clusterfuck. This movie tie-in jellyfish allegedly comes from the movie Shark Tale, but I think they just repainted some sex toys. Or maybe they're making Happy Meals for adults now. Yeah, I'll take a four-piece Chicken McNugget Happy Meal with a Coke and, uh, do you have any more of those butt plugs? Yeah, that's the one, the one with the scary face on it. It's for my wife, I swear. Number five, Star Wars figurines. Remember that scene in Jedi when Chewbacca pops out of a commandeered ATST to wave at Han? These toy makers remember it a little bit differently. In their version, Chewbacca had a derpy expression and a 40 foot head. Kids generally love Star Wars crap. Seriously, write Ewok droppings next to your freshest St. Bernard turd and your little cousin will love it. McDonald's had the right idea, but these Clone War tie-ins are too stupid looking for older collectors. And I don't think the ridiculous proportions are gonna do any favors for younger fans' toy skirmishes. Darth Vader says, no. But seriously, buy more Star Wars toys. Number four, E.T. Poster. Posters aren't the worst idea for kids. They're hard to choke on for one. Also, kids enjoy decorating the rooms and a wholesome movie poster is probably better than all those nude pinups you have lining your walls. The main issue is that the poster comes all folded up, so it's gonna have those OCD triggering creases all over it. It's also next to your french fries and cheeseburgers, so you know it's gonna come covered in McGrease. Worst of all, McDonald's did this promotion twice. The first time was when E.T. was actually in theaters, which made sense. The second time was three years later, when kids had already moved on to whatever cool film franchise the 80s would throw at them next. The real reason for this is probably that McDonald's had a shit ton of leftover posters in their warehouse. Number three. Halloween Pail. Give a kid a box and they'll want to know what's inside. Give them a colorful, kick-ass looking Halloween pail and they'll be expecting the contents to be the holy grail of candy surprises. So imagine the disappointment of these young Happy Meal fans when they open these up and received a big fat helping of nothing. 
Not that a big fat dose of chocolate is the best thing to eat after a Happy Meal, but come on. The pail's not even big enough to store your trick-or-treat candy in. You'd be better off going with a less fashionable but more practical alternative, a plastic bag. I'll give McDonald's points for the slogan, Mick Boo, though. That's just fucking genius. Some serious thinkers in that organization. But you know what? As long as you don't mix spit in my McDrink, I'm happy. Number 2. American Idol MP3 Player in 2007, McDonald's entered into a promotional partnership with Fox's juggernaut talent show American Idol. At this point, McDonald's had come a long way from plastic hand puppets and offered Happy Meal buyers actual MP3 players. I mean, you get what you pay for, so you can't expect too much, but the devices came preloaded with exactly one song, the American Idol theme song. That's fun for the kids. You know, you're on your school bus. It's a little bit of a long trip. Let's listen to the American Idol theme song 30 times in a row. Yay! On the plus side, parents got a new device to punish their kids with. Didn't finish your homework? Well, listen to the American Idol theme song all fucking day. It might send little Timmy into a panic attack every time the show comes on air, but look at that math grade. He's a smart one. Number 1. Ronald McDonald Mask Another lazy offering from the Mickey's House of D, this extremely creepy Happy Meal toy was basically just a piece of cardboard with a vague resemblance to Ronald McMascot. Great for kids that want to make their own horror short films, but everyone else probably could have done without the additional McNightmares. They all make flow down here. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Did you enjoy the video? That's fantastic. Did you know we still have a gaming channel? Collaborative. It's for playing it all and come look at us as we play some video games. Like animation? Have some questions about life and the universe you need answered? Come check out Super Planet Dolan. Danger Dolan and I will answer your life questions. Links are down below.